Yes. Uh, so, uh, so far what we, I will just <coughs> make a small uh, type of go through what we were discussing. Uh, so, we start, we were talking about some photochemistry reactions. Um, so, in one half we were trying to see the reactivity of our n pi star. Uh, once we finished the n pi star reactivity, uh, then we started to talk about your pi pi star reactivity. Then we said that in pi pi star reactivity, <coughs> once you excite, you get your alkene. For example, you take an alkene, you excite your alkene, it goes to singlet exciter state. It looks like more like a zwitterionic, your singlet exciter state. Then it undergoes a type of intersystem crossing if it has the energy level, then you get a triplet which can be a radical. And then we said that from singlet exciter state you see most of your chemistry happening in alkene because the energy gap is larger. And uh, we said that there will be many good reactions can be happened from your pi pi star uh, singlet state. One is your uh, cis trans isomerization and then we talked about reactions of your addition reactions of your pi pi star like dimerization, then we can see some pet chemistry. And same way from triplet we said same cis trans isomerization can also occur. So, uh, for initially then we said that we will talk about some cis trans isomerization and we dealt it in the earlier class, we studied how cis trans isomerization works. In this class we will take the second reaction which is your type of an addition to addition of your pi, pi star reactivity or you mostly you call as a dimerization type of reactions. Okay? So, this class we will talk about that. You can say addition of pi pi star reactivity or dimerization reactions. So, uh, first thing we will be discussing about some <coughs> intermolecular like intermolecular addition of your pi pi system. You can call this as a like mostly we will see dimerization reactions in this. Okay. It is type of dimerization. We see dimerization type of reactions. You take an alkene, it undergoes a proper dimerizations. <coughs> then we can talk about intramolecular addition of your pi system. With two different alkenes, <coughs> like that, just intramolecular within the double bond in the alkene systems like norborene systems where you can do within intramolecular addition that we will talk about there. Then we can see intramolecular addition of conjugated dienes. This you can say intramolecular addition of a system of alkenes this is also of alkenes mostly. Here we can see about dienes. Then we will be talking about some photo isomerization of benzene. You can do this reaction from benzene, photo isomerization of benzene. Then we will be studying some uh, photo cyclo addition of aromatic compounds. So, we will be dealing with this type of five 
First, we will see intermolecular addition of pi pi that is of your alkene system. We will study the intermolecular. Then, we will study intramolecular addition of pi pi star that is alkene. Then, we will study intramolecular addition of conjugated dienes, photo isomerization of benzene. Then, we will see photocyclo additions of aromatic compounds. So, we will broadly discuss this areas in addition of pi pi star system. So, first we will start with our intramolecular addition of your alkene systems. Or you can call us dimerization dimerization of alkenes. Fine. So, you can take your ethylene and if you shine light on ethylene, okay, ethylene can undergo a dimerization, fine. But uh, if you see the absorption of ethylene, ethylene has an absorption below 200 nanometers. So, uh, doing with a regular photochemistry apparatus is little bit tougher. So, you have some technical problem, you have to go with a very high watts bulb. Uh, lamps so that you can do the dimerization of ethylenes. Uh, but if you go for substituted alkenes, like substituted ethylenes, then you have a nice bathochromic shift. So it comes, the lambda max comes around 224 nanometer. Then you can start doing your photochemistry. Okay. So we will take a substituted alkene. Okay. And now I am shining light. So, it is direct irradiation. Okay. So, what do you expect? What do you expect? Two ethylene molecule getting dimerized. Right? You can get this type of system, fine. Now, what I say that if you take a, for example, I am taking a cis, okay, and now I am photolyzing this directly. So, what do you get? I am taking cis, now I am making, so whether this reaction is stereo specific. But the reaction is stereo specific. See, I am directly irradiating. So, from where the chemistry occurs? Alkene chemistry. If you directly irradiate alkenes, it should occur from singlet excited state because it cannot enter system cross to triplet. So, it will be occurring from singlet. Singlet means it is more like a zwitter ionic. So, you will be getting most of the time stereo specific reactions. Okay. So, if you see, yeah. One of the product I get like this, you can get one of the products like this. Still the reaction is stereo specific, can you think about any other product? We call this as a cis dimer. So, your two cis having alkenes, both alkenes are opposite direction, they come together and form a reaction stereo specifically. Why cannot it happen like this also? Okay. You can get this product also, right? So, this will be 43 percentage and this is 57 percentage and you call this as cis anti cis dimer. This reaction is very concerted type of 
it happens from zuter ionic so you just add but you know, the way of addition is that you have two possibility it can add like this or it can add like this so the addition part is different clear okay now we will take a trance and see how it works if i photolyze this directly what two products can you think of writing I have written the stereochemistry. Get it right? So, this is cis anti cis dimer, this is trans anti trans dimer. get this around 39 percentage and 60 percent of zeta. <coughs> so, you should understand if you are directly uh, photolyzing you are going only to the singlet and we know the singlet most of the time looks like alkene system of the singlet looks like more like your zeta ionic right. So, you have that plus minus always. I am taking like Norborin system. Okay. So, if I fertilize this, what product can you think about? You one year, one opposite. Again, it will be trans anti trans. If it is other way also, it will be again trans anti trans. See, if it is, if this alkene is unsymmetrical, then whatever you say, it will be right. If I have an ethyl there and a methyl, then whatever you are saying, then I should get 4 to 5. But since it is symmetrical, you get only 2. Because other way around also, it is a trans anti trans. So, what happens here? What product you can think of? So, you, you, you say that I got this product, okay. Uh, you think this is the only product it will be formed? What other product you can look for? Yeah. So, I can write one more product. All right, that is also you can think about. No? That is what it becomes nice. It is not like just you take two and add it up or you get one. The way of addition also you can look for because molecule always have their own way of it can come like this or it can come like this. Hmm? Fine. Okay. Now I take another example an aromatic system okay i am photolyzing this 
in press in like you can take any solvent or I, or I say like I am taking in acetone. That means I am fertilizing this in acetone. So, what you are thinking about this reaction? I take a compound, dissolve it in acetone and fertilize it. So, what you are expecting? Yeah, you get dipolarization. Yes. So, acetone now be an triplet sensitizer. Okay. So, what happens? We have studied that no? energy transfer reaction, where acetone will be excited, it goes to a singlet, then it undergoes an inter-system crossing to triplet. From triplet, it will transfer its energy to this substrate, and then the substrate will do all chemistry from the triplet state. So, then you cannot see your reaction to be type of stereospecific, it is not like that. No? It becomes more like a radical chemistry. Fine. So, <coughs> then what products you can think of? What are the products you can write? Just if I have given a choice. Right, but both of my hydrogens are right. I can write this. can think because it is not a region like it is a radical chemistry. So, I can think any way happening can also get this. Okay. Any other guess? Any other molecules you can think of? This are two, then. Yeah, why cannot you think of this type of molecules like can I write like this? Other way around of your cyclopentene type of system. Um, this one, other fashion of coming and binding. So, I can think of this four products, four possible products which can be formed. When it is uh, without sensitizer, it is more like a concerted type. So, you are thinking about only one product, okay, the other way around of that product. But when it is going to be a with sensitizer, then it is a radical chemistry. So, you have to write all the products. Fine. <coughs> Return. Okay. Now, see now you have seen alkenes if directly excited what happens, you have seen alkenes if it is in presence of triplet sensitizer what happens. I am um, taking a type of cyclobutene system where I have a phenyl. This is solvent in methanol. Okay, I'm doing this photolysis in methanol. I'm photolysing in methanol. This compound. So. 
So, same compound I am fertilizing in methanol, okay, first one. The second case I am fertilizing in methanol in presence of a triplet sensitizer like benzophenone. You can take benzophenone, it is a very good triplet sensitizer. So, I am doing this photochemistry. So, what you expect? First case may what, what you can expect, second case what you are thinking about, any idea? Yeah. So, first second case it shows it should be radical chemistry and first case it should be, uh, but what product can you think about? Both of the case you get a major product, but both are different. See in the first case, I get this product. Okay. Second case, I get this product. So, I see I am just changing the chemistry now just by using solvents and sensitizers. Um, how we get this first product? See, what happens is that we take the first. We'll okay. we'll consider what happens in the A. type of alkene, you are now saying I am fertilizing that directly, fine. So, if you fertilize directly, what do you expect? How alkene exists in the singlet excited state if you fertilize directly? So, it should be zeutarionic, right? Should be plus and minus. That is the way it should be in the excited state. Since in, in the other cases there were no solvent to react with your singlet excited state, that is why it is founding its counterpart to dimer. But in this case, since methanol is there, you know methanol can react nicely, giving you. Can I have your OCH3 phenyl hydrogen? Right, you get a nice product then. <coughs> so, that is what I say like a singlet excited state, little bit you should be careful. You have to think the possibility of your solvents in singlet excited case um, because it is more like and or add as well as you should think about carbonium ion reaction as well as carbon anion reaction. You are creating a carbonium ion. If there is any chance rearrangement occurs, you should think about even rearrangements. Many reactions where you can even see rearrangement happening because you know carbonium ion undergoes nice rearrangement. If it is a secondary carbonium ion, then you can look for a tertiary carbonium ion. So, that also should come into the picture. Hmm? So, in the case of B, then it will be simple our uh, phenyl, I fertilize it. Get my radical. This radical can now react with your ground state alkene. Okay. 
get this since we are not since it is symmetry otherwise this uh, this is going to flip around okay that's why the stereochemistry is lost Clear. So, <clears throat> these are some examples which are good for doing for a type of intermolecular reactions. Okay. Um, then we will go for intramolecular reaction and see how it works in intramolecular cases. Okay, the second one. You can say intramolecular dimerization or intramolecular addition of alkenes. Previously, we were doing intermolecular. See, there is one main thing when you think about intramolecular dimerization of alkenes. For example, I have a system like CH double bond alkene, where I have n number of okay, I have an alkene like this with <coughs> you have a in between your CH 2s okay. If the intervening C S 2 between these two alkenes, okay, if this C S 2 is odd number, the type of rule odd number, then you end up with a type of direct addition. Okay, across the double bond. But if it is an even number, then you are end up with getting a cross product, cross additions. Okay. So, if this number of carbon atoms between this alkenes, two alkenes, if it is odd number, then you are undergoing a direct addition. Okay. If it is an even number, then you end up with a cross addition. That you should remember when you are talking about intramolecular dimerization. Fine. This part you should know, like a sort of rule. Now, we will take some examples and see how this works, uh, this rule. What is the name of this compound? Numbering, how we call it? One five cyclo octa diene, right? Okay. I'm taking one four cyclo octa diene. Okay. I'm fertilizing in the presence of acetone. That means, I am not going to do any zeuterionic, I am doing radical chemistry. Right? Um, <coughs> so, what happens now? What do you think? How, how many carbon atoms are there in between these two double bonds? Two. So, it is an even number. So, even number ends with you what? Cross products, right? So, you should think that.
so i get a radical let me make a because it's a radical chemistry okay because uh, i'm doing it in acetone so it mostly goes by radical chemistry get a nice type of cross product when your carbon atom is even this is 15 cyclo octa type nice okay i take another example same class of example just shifting the double bond okay so it is 14 right same way i'm fertilizing this in acetone so now the carbon number is odd it's one right so you are a, you are going to think about direct addition product which then can give me clear hmm? so when you think about intramolecular type of dimerization first thing you should get into that mind uh, what is the number of carbon atom between these things if it is odd or even odd means direct even means cross and then think whether it is a radical chemistry or type of concerted zwitterionic chemistry fine Okay, I have a system. <coughs> okay, a system like this. Now I am trying to fertilize. So if I just for num name numbering names like one, three, four, five, six, if I put this, okay. Um, once I fertilize, there are two ways I can think about, right? one case i get a radical here fine what happened oh sorry but the success is not same same right yeah both the structures are same this both are same that's fine um now what happens is that you have two choice to do this addition okay one i can take this add to my 5 okay that is 1 2 3 4 5 another i have an option that i can think of adding to 6 right i can add this 1 to 6 or i can think of adding 1 to 5 okay 
if I do 1 to 5, <coughs> then what product you can get? Think of. just doing 1 to 5. <clears throat> I get this, which then can give me this all right <clears throat> i am just saying give me this if i do 1 6 type of 1 6 just try that so you, the product you end up is Look at this, right? Just I am going to add this six member, then you get a radical to give me this product. So, <coughs> see, basically, based on your radical stability itself, you can which product will be dominating if you say I have two products here, okay? I have A, B, which you think happens. Uh, you, you can think of A why, because you are thinking that you can get a stable isopropyl radical, right. If it is not isopropyl radical, if it is type of a single methyl, then what happens? Uh, that is called as uh, rule of 5, okay. Uh, what rule of 5 is says that your addition to fifth carbon to form a 5 member type of like 1 5 addition that is more predominating most of the time okay that's called rule of 5 this path it takes hmm, this you call as rule of 5 like your balvin rule what balvin rule says that if it is 5 means 5 membered exotric right if you are going to balvin rule what it says 5 membered you go with a exo endotric or exotric endotric, exotric, six member, endotric, right. Like that you have this type of chemistries. Hmm? Rule of 5, we say that, that if it is 1, 5, 1, 5 additions are much more common, fine. One four. You are talking about the previous case, yes. previous example. One four. Four cyclo. So how many carbons are in between? No, between the two. No, in between. Totally. Yeah, yeah. No, I am talking between the two alkenes. You have you have one carbon in this case, right? One four. Right. So you have one, hmm, two, three, four. You have this one. Huh? So so one two. Three, four, yeah. this one. Hmm? Yeah, yeah. yeah, then no, you just go with the least number one. Okay, okay? this side you consider. Yes, that's good. So this we call as rule of five. Now, for example, I take a system like this, same system, okay, with the
Now what happens? Like uh, you think uh, any one five addition is formed here? It's very hard, no? Because one, two, three, four, five, six. If I just number like this one, there's no chance of one five. You have a chance of making one six with a cyclopropyl radical, right? So if I photolyze this, what happens? So, if you add what product you, you can think of? Is a nice product like this? Fine, because you can add this up 1 5, because you are trying 1 5 only, hmm? if you want to do with this ring. See, this type of chemistries. Uh, they, they do not give you major product, most of the time they give you the minor product, that is why I say rule of 5 is works most of the case. Hmm? Um, no, if I say 1, 2, okay, so, sorry, sorry, it should be excited here, okay, the radical should be here and then you count from this. Hmm? If I do like that, I do not get that product. Do excitation here in this case, okay? Don't excite here, excite here. So you get a two radicals. I can combine these radicals like this hmm, to give me the product, but that doesn't happen. It's a very minor product. This is very minor product. because it becomes 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, even if I try this, does not happen well. Sir, from the top, there was one actually one side. Yeah, from here, right? Uh, beside that, uh, that 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. You want to count from where? Yeah, year 1. Yeah, this one. From here, yeah. yeah, one, two, three, four, five, but that never gets the product. Okay, it has to undergo this way. Yeah, earlier example, yeah, that's why I'm saying that this both examples, which part you have to look, which double bond you are looking about. Okay, that's why I I took the same way. See, if I put it in other way around, okay, that doesn't happen. Okay, the feasible part is going to be this part. See, there are many chances of addition. Eh? You can take this double bond, you can add across this. You can take this double bond, you can add across this. You can get different products. Okay, same example, you can get different products. But the one which is going by rule of 5, that will be a major product. That is all. Okay. It is the same one, just I am taking that it can be other way around but you again get, you have to get this product, but it becomes very minor one. Okay. So, what you can think from here? You get a nice product. What is that? You have studied this. What is this? Quadricyclone. See, but. Have you studied the application of this quadricyclone? You have uh, this have been used in many. Uh, it, it it has been used in many applications. Like, uh, what happens? 
if you slightly put some catalyst, okay, this can immediately break bond, giving back to my starting material. But once it gives back to my starting material, gives all your light, it converts all your light into heat. If I put a small catalyst into this, which can break this reaction, it, it releases lot of heat. Say without eating, if you want to do some reactions, just put this compound, okay. Just shine this compound, it takes all the light energy, okay, and then whenever you want, it can release you as a heat energy, fine. Now, we take one interesting examples. What is this compound? Benzo, without this you know, what is this? Commercial name, Berlin, right? Benzo Berlins, huh? I take a Benzo Berlin, okay? I do a photolysis. In one case, I am doing it directly, okay? In other case, I am doing photolysis in presence of my triple sensitizer. So, huh? Yeah, if I do in presence of this one, what do you expect? You expect type of like quadricyclone in our previous case, né? addition of dimerization intermolecular, yeah. So, after that what happens? And you know that this molecule cannot be much stable, okay? Uh, really ring strain. So, what you want to, what you think it will happen? <coughs> what you can think? You see, that's why you know, it's more important to know the driving force of your reactions, which which makes it to move forward. See, you you have to break the bonds, okay? So, which bonds you try to break? Just see one thing. If I break a bond here, okay, for example, I get a radical. Hmm? then immediately I can break a bond here, so that it gets back to its aromatic, fine. Then if you break this, think about what you are getting, can you visualize? I am getting three bonds here, yeah, you get like a Okay. The yield is almost 95 percentage, it is like single product that is all. Just take benzo berlin, you just fertilize, you do not do anything, just fertilize, you end up with this product nicely. Okay. If you do this in presence of sensitizer, <coughs> what do you expect in presence of sensitizer?
So, if you if you are going to think about sensitizer, what you are going to do? You can think about your cycle because it is a radical chemistry. You get this as a first step, right? You are going by radical now. Now, what you can do? See, now you have a radical here. What do you want to do? You want to bring back your aromatic, right? <coughs> so, you can cleave this bond then. So, that it becomes aromatic. Yes, you can get this type of structure. Now, what will happen? This will you can you can recombine. Now think of, and now think the structure. If it recombines, how it will look like? You have to just recombine this. That's all. <coughs> think the structure how it can be. Can you write the best way? First, recombine this, and then see can you open up or unfold it so that you can get to the best way of writing it. So, this type of structures really opens up your mind to see how the molecule looks like. So, what do So, this is the structure you get. Okay. Nice way of looking molecules like this. Uh, and this photochemistry is nice. See, there are many people will ask just like Berlin's. Okay. If you take Berlin and do the photolysis, yes, you do not have benzene, other chemistries are same. You can ask with benzo Berlin also. <coughs> this are well known for the chemistry. You should know this type of uh, thing. Then we will see one more example. I'll finish it off. What happens this? I'm directly photolysing. What will be your first step? <coughs> your first step should be? See, it does not have a portion to make a 2 plus 2. That is what I am saying. See, that double bond is away from it. So, your first step should be then? It undergoes a cis trans isomerization. So, you bring your so, molecule does it so clever so it brings this double bond in huh? just do cis trans <coughs> then it undergoes a 2 plus 2 ok. The only thing is that you should not di write directly. <coughs> So, it is a very nice cage molecule, ok. You can it is a looks like a bucket, mm, it is a very nice cage molecules.
this a lot of kelch molecules can be made like this these are simple chemistries just you have to shine light and the yields are mostly almost nine, greater than 90 percentage fine so this are the two one uh, we have <coughs> seen intermolecular as well as intramolecular okay uh, in the next class we will try to discuss the other three part uh, fine okay so we will end up now <coughs>